Hello there chums, it is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and today chums, we have ourselves another multi-tool to go and check out. This one also has the incinerator installed, but this multi-tool is actually given away for free. Heck yes, given away for free by an NPC. So this is an interesting one. Um, you are going to need your glyph codes, and I would suggest going into your network settings before venturing forth, and making sure your multi multiplayer is all disabled. Heck yes. Right, so let's um, interact with this little portal. Oh dear, we've got a superheated storm approaching. I better be freaking quick with my little Cody Man code code. Right, so here we go. Let's uh, activate portal. Come on, activate portal address. And I am needing a double eagle. Double eagle. I'm needing a diplo. Where are you, my long necked friend? There you are. We need a rocket. Chicka pow pow. And a triforce. And a sunset. And a waypoint. Followed by a sunset and a rocket, and an eagle, a gem, and a tree or Y shape or whatever you want to call that freaking thing. Somebody actually called that a Jesus once and it made me chuckle. Heck yes. Right, so there we go. That is now activated. Lovely jubbly. And I'm heading in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I've arrived at the opposite side of said portal. You can see here. This is actually found by James P. Vale. Yet again, the member of the frickin' Trident. He's hitting me up with some frickin' awesome multi-tool finds. So James P. Vale, you so frickin' awesome. And you're gonna get yourself an air grab and go down in history as one of my favorite multi-tool hunters. You're frickin' awesome. So yeah, if you do come here, chums, and you do manage to find this multi-tool before you hop back through the portal and disappear for ages, leave down a little comms ball. Say a thank you to James P. Vale or even myself for sharing this with you. But here we go. We are gonna be heading over over to the um, comms ball site that has been left by James P. Vale. So we just simply take on off. You can see there's a comms ball. Everyone has said harassy on. So let's uh, just, uh, I'm going to break the cloud barrier because there's less friction in space than flying through atmosphere. Heck yes. So we can get there that tad bit quicker. There you go. It's a little bit of a beginner's tip. All of us veterans know it. But here we go. Just break the cloud barrier. We're up here. Lock on on. Hit your pulse drive, and you're going to be there quicker than a lamb can shake its tail three times. Yeah, lambs actually can shake their tail super freaking quick, so that's, uh, it, 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 it's not that fast. But you, you, it's faster than it would have been if I would have stayed in the atmosphere. Okay, let's forget the whole lamb shaking tails references, but let's just fly on down to the landing site, which we've got ourselves a little landing pad here. Another little tip, if you do land on landing pads, you're not going to be using your uh, launch thruster fuel in taking off again, which is nice. Landed designated areas. That, that even goes for little beacons next to flags and things. But here we go. We have got ourselves some lovely little things here that give us some indications. NPC inside. So let's uh, head on in and let's go talk to said NPC. Now there's usually two NPCs in here. One in that little uh, chamber at the back, but he just sells stuff. So it's this guy that's taking a little breather at the moment. Hello. How are you? So, yeah, this is Corporal Wehi. Hello there, Corporal Wehi. I hear that you've got yourself a lovely multi-tool that you want to offer me, my friend. Pitiful work here. Viking act like Gek. Exchange equipment for units. Never join battle. Body is pathetic. Are, are you talking about my manually posture? Well, I'm wearing Viking armor. So if you mock me, you mock yourselves. Okay, well, I'm going to admire your multi-tool, my friend. Corporal, where he disconnected, drew my attention to the upgraded, well-maintained and obviously recent purchase multi-tool. Heck yes, show me this multi-tool that you have got, my friend. And there you go. It is an S-Class, okay, fantastic, and it has the incinerator installed. Now, if you do swap out this multi-tool for one of your multi-tools, you are going to have to repair these components before you can fully utilize the dang thing. But yeah, he will swap you this multi-tool for free with your own multi-tool and as you can see I've already got an experimental multi-tool that I have fully upgraded I will not be doing this swap but I'd imagine that this multi-tool will appeal to a lot of you guys out there in the viewer verse so yeah come along and grab this freaking multi-tool and exchange it out maybe even for your most cruddiest one if you've got a free slot you could just take this for free it's a fantastic find. So yeah, thanking you, James P. Vale. You, sir. You, sir, are freaking awesome. 
And yeah, I've already given you one air crab. You're having a freaking second one. There you go. Yeah, double fresh air for you, sir. I know it's a bit of a, a shy to exchange that because you could just grab your own. But there we go. That's it. I'm ending off. You guys have been freaking ace. Come grab your multi tool. Lovely jubbly. And a wavy mum wave. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. There's multiple ways to support my channel. Patreon being one. Thank you, Patreons. And I also have YouTube membership. Thank you, YouTube memberships. Yep, there's multiple tiers there for everyone. Be sure to check both out if you're thinking of supporting me that way. Hitting a like or a subscribe or leaving a comment. I love reading comments. There's another way to support the channel. Or there's merch if you want to find a dandy pair of socks or a t-shirt. Head on over to Teespring. Or just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and watch a little more. Hit join or sub. Heck yes. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.